Max and Blair. Are you saying you didn't? Max and Blair are practically half-blown up all by themselves. Is that what happened? I'm not saying that's what happened. I, I'm telling you that you've got to stick around and see what does happen. Todd, I'm not very good at waiting. Fine, you know what, forget it. Uh, uh, hello, what are you, what are you doing? Packing your things. What? what? I thought you wanted me to stay. You don't have the stomach for this game. Really? Go ahead, go. Run home to your daddy. I'm not going to stop you. Although, that's who I think it is. Maybe they'll try and stop you. Oh, gee. Oh. So now, it's not really a surprise to find you here since you publish her poison. In the paper that you stole from Kelly, I might just add that. It's just business. Oh, I see. Don't you have somewhere else to be? You know, I'd rather be anywhere. Good. Consider my offer. What I should do is stuff this garbage down your throat. If you're looking for a retraction, you've gone to the wrong ration. No, no. I would expect that from a real journalist who really gave a damn about the truth. But you're not a journalist because a real one wouldn't write this kind of muck. I don't need any professional advice from oh, you, Ray. I know my business. Oh, would that be business blackmailing business? Because that I do agree with. What? You think that I wrote oh. this article about you to get some kind of kickback? Oh, please, Ray. Believe me, you've got nothing that I want. No, but Max does, doesn't he? You're blackmailing him, aren't you? Why don't you just say it? What are you talking about? I was at the diner. Do you remember that at all? You were about to blow Max right out of the water. And the only reason you didn't is because of Ben. He interrupted the momentum. You know everything about Max. I mean, that's why he is sleeping with you. What other reason would there be? except to keep your nasty little mouth shut. It's true. I've known about Max's con for quite a while now. So you are holding it over your head. No. Even when he dumped me, I never gave him away. I don't put the squeeze on people I love. Unlike some people I don't want to mention. I would never hurt Max. You hurt Max every time you walk into the room. You think Asa hasn't noticed your sudden interest in his son? He has no idea why I'm interested in yeah, him. Yeah, well, he's going to start wondering pretty soon. But you don't care about that. Oh, no! All you care about is what you want, about what you need. You know, your child might have been raised by another family, but all of a sudden you're stepping in to play mommy to protect Max from me? Well, let me tell you something. The only thing that Max needs protection from is from you from you and from Blair. And as far as this goes, lady, let me tell you something. This is right on the money because you are sick. You hear me? Sick, sick, sick. I won't let you harm Max. And I won't ever let you expose him. Oh, no, of course not. You want that privilege off of yourself. When you finally claim Max as your son, you finish him. He'll be destroyed. And believe it or not, that will destroy me. But at least I'll have the satisfaction of knowing that Max's downfall wasn't my fault. It was yours. Make Max's fraud blow up in his face with all your hounding. And then he'll be exposed. And it'll all be on your head. I would never expose Max. And you know what else? I will do whatever it takes to stop you from hurting him. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you got that backwards. You know, why would I even listen to you? I mean, your whole life is backwards. You're supposed to be a doctor, an expert on relationships. Oh, my God, that is laughable. You are a complete failure in life, in love, and especially in that ludicrous hunt for your long-lost child. If you ask me, that kid's lucky. Oh, you know what? Hurt 
people in Pine Valley. When it comes to my own daughter, I draw the line. Now, if you want to fight, if you want to fight, Sky Chancellor, believe me, you have got one. You tell her, Mama. Why you? No, kiddo. You are the one who's empty. Your head is empty. Your heart is empty. Your soul is empty. Your your uh, help me, honey. Yes. Yeah. Uh, your your life right. is empty. Your life is empty. Uh, that's why you, you try to make other people as miserable as you are. You're exactly like your father. I mean, <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You and Adam, uh, you're a pair. You're both rotten to the core. Well, at least we have a core. Unlike you, pathetic sideshow shill, you carnival hangers-on. I happen to be quite proud of my family. I'm proud of mine. I'm also proud of mine. Really? Well, have you told Mommy Dearest about her new grandson? Yes? You know, told me he was emphatic that I had a son, not a daughter. And his name was Max Holden Buchanan. Darling, why, why didn't you tell me earlier? Oh, I don't know. I just, uh, I just don't know if any of this is really true. Oh, don't forget not. to tell her how much Max hates you. Nobody's talking to you. Why don't we finish this? Well, you know, I do have a wedding to go to tonight. Yes. But you can no, stay darling, over, no, can't you? It will be no problem. Listen, I've got to go. I've got to go to Fine Valley. Mm. Where you are still the town. Alaya. Come on, baby. Yeah. 